hovering over us that never went away. Nothing was ever good enough and the standards changed from day to day. On a good day, she would shut herself up in the office and then leave early. Good days were very rare and could turn into bad days at the drop of a dime. On bad days, you couldn't be perfect enough and she would just come up with new rules and new regulations to punish people. If a host called out sick, they were literal children, she would berate them on the phone and make them cry. If a cook made a mistake on a plate, she would humiliate them in front of the staff, accuse them of doing it on purpose, and then give us all the silent treatment for hours. Seriously. If someone's cash was off, even by a few cents, she would accuse them of theft and force me to cut down their hours. As a fellow manager, I was mostly spared her awful behavior, though I had to hear about her treatment from my staff almost every day. All of this was just run-of-the-mill bad boss stuff until it came time for our yearly staff evaluation meetings. This is where Raul enters the story. Raul was a hard-working dishwasher who had moved to our state from Puerto Rico a few years earlier and spoke English with some difficulty. Whenever I had to go over anything official with him, we would have a co-worker translate between us to make sure we were both communicating clearly. Jan refused this courtesy to Raul. 